What's going on guys and welcome back to the Pac-12 Online Dynasty. I'm here with my Washington Huskies at number 22 in the nation. Suffered a defeat last week at the hands of the Stanford Cardinal. We had beaten LSU early in the year who were number 2. And now we take on the number 2 ranked Oregon Ducks. Big Pac-12 matchup here. One of our toughest on the schedule. Let's get into it. Keith Price here. Opening possession. First play from scrimmage. And that one was kind of risky there. Throwing to Case and Williams on the curl route. But it paid off. I got the first down. Now second and six. We want to pass the ball again with Keith Price. Very clean pocket holding up against the two-man rush and we get the pass out to James Johnson for a few yards. Now we got to get the conversion. Third down and three. Johnson in motion and Price is back to throw yet again and Kevin Smith on the short curl route makes the first down grab. We're in duck territory. Would we'll love to get an early lead on the ducks and get some early momentum and so on second and ten I go over the middle looking for Kevin Smith and I have no idea why I even threw that pass. I got to take more time, make better reads. Of course I've been playing really poorly lately on the football games as far as passing goes especially I would have to say so definitely just step up there myself but we're on defense now and we hold Oregon on their first drive and so good job there because we gave him great field position and now we get the ball back in the hands of Keith Price we'll run the ball now Jesse Callier up the middle six yard carry want to get the run game going like I always do and then Price is back to throw on second and four and he's going to find Kaysen Williams in between two Oregon defenders for a first down going to look at Kaysen a lot he's been a very productive receiver so far for me then I go to Jesse Callier out of the backfield on second and seven only get a yard I always hope I can get past the first guy on those swing passes or something short like that but anyways on third and six I throw to James Johnson when I had a wide open case in Williams on the right side but we get the first down nonetheless second down and nine price to throw again out of the gun and he's gonna go deep middle open Kevin Smith first down inside the 15 yard line and we're ready to go put some points on the board here out of the shotgun now price to throw great blocking so far by the way Austin Safari and Jenkins gets nine and a half making it third down and short so we come out now a power run formation one receiver hand the ball off Jesse Callier and he breaks a tackle and slips into the end zone touchdown Huskies it's seven to nothing Oregon with the ball now Brian Bennett is the quarterback and he's going over the middle and that's going to be a big first down into Husky territory pretty wide open throw and then on the shotgun handoff he gives the ball to Kenyon Barner who goes nowhere and we force the Ducks into third down and nine we have a three-man front and for some reason they're guard could just not pick up that blitzer right there he came through easily and sacked Brian Bennett so we get the football back yet again second and seven price rolling out blitz is getting picked up and he finds Kevin Smith rolling out to his right good throw that's a first down for Washington as we look to build upon this lead and hopefully take control of this game as we look to upset Oregon third down and seven price back to throw and once again clean pocket James Johnson is open for the first down as the offensive line is really impressing me right now after not playing at all that well against Stanford last week second and five price sitting in the pocket plenty of time James Johnson yet again so the zone defense it's not holding up with a lack of pass rush and so we look to take advantage of that still and now we catch him off guard or wanted to catch him off guard anyways with a handoff to Jesse Callier to switch it up a little bit switch up the tempo and then we give it to Jesse Callier again for the first down I also wanted to take some time off the clock so they wouldn't get too much left and then we get the touchdown pass to Austin Safari and Jenkins 14 nothing now as we're just 20 seconds before halftime hand the ball to Kenyon Barner first down on this shotgun sweep and so we got to avoid giving up the big play here with just 15 seconds to go in the first half Brian Bennett deep middle intercepted by Sean Parker and we're gonna try to get a good return out of this as we have some blocks set up Brian Bennett coming over and he makes the tackle with the 46 yard line and so six seconds left what can we do here Price back in the pocket he's gonna throw it left sideline and that was just underthrown. I kind of wish I would just bombed it to the end zone and let him run for it but whatever it's an interception go to the half 14 nothing now we got to go back and play some more defense Defense. Second down 11, Brian Bennett hits his man, but just for a short couple of yards. So third and seven comes. The defense has played pretty well so far in this game. Out of the shotgun again, Bennett back to pass. Quick pass over the middle on the slant, and it's short of the first down. And so we force another punt from Oregon as the defense and actually all facets of the game have been surprising me so far and then Callier gets a five yard handoff making it third and five would love to extend the drive here and work on adding some more points to this lead and Kaysen Williams he makes the catch the defender trying to jump the route and he missed and Kaysen going inside the 10 yard line now pushed out at the six huge gain for Kaysen Williams let me hand the ball off to Jesse Callier and he's going to go towards the end zone and get in touchdown UW 21 to nothing right now shocking Oregon and we're stopping DeAnthony Thomas who is on the Heisman watch right now. Our front seven is playing lights out against Oregon and on second down Bennett going right side for the back shoulder throw and I miss the interception it's caught by Josh Huff 
first down Ducks. They want to get their first points on the board here midway through the third quarter. Second and 12 now. And they're going to go outside. And that's going to be Kenyon Barner out of the backfield. Solid tackle though. Short gain. Third down and six. Thomas now is in the slot on the right side. We have to watch him and his speed. And Bennett going outside. That's exactly who he highlighted. But good coverage on the play. And the defense once again comes up with a stop. But it's fourth and six now. They're going for it. Fake the handoff. Then Bennett outside. It's caught in a first down for the Ducks. And so they narrowly escape a turnover on downs. This drive is still alive. Hand the ball off to Kenyon Barner. But Anthony Goldberg, one of our cornerbacks, even comes in and makes a tackle. So third and three. Thomas on the handoff. Up the middle, touchdown, Ducks. I missed a big hit. I wanted to go for a big hit and make him fumble. But 7-21 to 21 now as we near the fourth quarter as we just got to keep playing mistake-free football on offense. Second and 10, Price doesn't like what he sees, so he takes off. He's going to take a hit here. He does not slide in time. So on third and inches, we want to run the ball and get this first down. Jesse Callier barely gets it. And this drive is going to stay alive here as we want to milk the clock. We're only up by 14, and games can change very quickly. Outside goes Callier, loss of one, but time will run off the clock. So third and seven now. Want to keep the drive alive. Price back to throw. He wants to go outside. It's caught by James Johnson on the left sideline. Great throw from Keith Price. That extends the drive, moves the chains, and now second and 15. Hand off to Callier in a great play. The defender broke off his block very nicely and stopped Callier short of getting any yards. So third and 15, Price dumping it off. Jesse Callier out of the backfield. We'll take the few yards that we get, about nine on that play, and we're going to go run some clock and now punt the ball to Oregon. Two and a half minutes to go. Bennett fires over the middle, and it's intercepted by Desmond Trufant on the first play of the drive. That is not what Oregon wanted. Defense making plays all day. Now you're on option left side. Jesse Callier getting some yards after the pitch. He's going to get about nine yards and he's tackled out of bounds as we look to hopefully increase this lead to three scores to be a little bit more comfortable for us here and I also noticed that he was going for a lot of strips and so I made sure that we would protect the ball and not let them get a big fumble and then we hand the ball to Jesse Callier up the middle no yards we'll take it though as he calls his last timeout and with a 24 to 7 lead we're pretty comfortable right now Brian Bennett in the pocket being chased out of the pocket now first down and more up towards midfield tackle at the Washington 48 yard line Oregon is not giving up third down and four Brian Bennett to throw great protection going long and it's caught over the middle it's a big first down for Oregon but with no timeouts and the clock running only 20 seconds to go third and goal end zone touchdown Oregon but Oregon is down by 10 points all we have to do is recover this onside kick take a knee and we will win the game and that's exactly what we do the Huskies knock off the Oregon Ducks 24 to 14 overall the team played phenomenal I was really happy with the defense especially holding DeAnthony Thomas in that speedy offense that I always worry about when I play against the Oregon Callier not much on the ground but two touchdowns and he was able to get convert for some first downs which was very important in this game two picks in this game I wish I could have limited well that one actually wasn't a big deal towards the end of halftime but the other one was just really bad James Johnson made some big catches today, and we were able to contain Oregon's offense and get a win in the Pac-12 Conference. And now we're going to take a look at some recruiting here as we take a look at a five-star wide receiver who's interested in Notre Dame. He's from Hawaii, and so I'm trying to get him. He's in my pipeline as well. I have to talk a little bit bad about USC as well to try to get some points in my favor, and also this five-star tackle looking at Ohio State, where I'm hoping we can really get him. I want some bookend left tackles on this team. Also, Leon Price. I'll take a pair of five-star tackles if I can get them. Now with a five-star guard. I'm all with the offensive linemen, guys. I want to be able to win the game in the trenches and give my quarterbacks time to throw. I want to disrupt the passes of my opponents. And so that's why I focus on that so much. And also, this John Cooley guy right here, this fullback, has some great attributes. And this is why I love the scouting in this game so much, because you see a one-star player, then you start scouting a little bit, and you realize what he truly is. Don't look him at what he is for a one-star player. Look at him by his attributes and see how he's actually going to fit into your team. And so next up, guys, we played number one, USC. So we've played some very tough games thus far, but this is the hardest part of our schedule. And so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it, and I'll see you guys next time.